This is parallel processing CPU bound tasks with Node.js. I'm going to start off by writing a deliberately long running CPU bound task. Let's create a file, we'll call it Fibonacci.js. Now, like I said, this will be written in such a way to be deliberately long and take up a lot of CPU. So here we go. Const Fibonacci equals n. If n is less than or equal to 2, then uh, return 1. Else, return Fibonacci n minus 1 plus Fibonacci n minus 2. Did I say n minus 2? Now there we go. That's it. Console.log Fibonacci 20, for example. Let's try this out. A node Fibonacci JS. Oh, that runs quite fast. Now let's just increase that number a little bit, say to 40. Let's try this. Okay, so that takes a second. It gets exponentially slower just by increasing up a couple of numbers. Let's try 45. Well, we can see that's even slower. Now it's finished. Let's put something like 48. This is very slow and we'll just do the timing. We'll measure its time. S time equals process dot h r time ah, there we go and uh this console dot log process dot h r time s time this will print out the difference the length of time it takes to run Fibonacci 48 which is a long deliberately long running process now if I look at the graph on the right the CPU graph on the right we'll see that my computer is locking one CPU at a time like so CPU 7 is working right now And there we go, it's finished. That took 28 seconds to run Fibonacci 48. Now, this is known as a CPU bound process that blocks the Node.js event loop. I can try and run two of those together and they will run. I'm just going to reduce that number so it's faster. And they won't run concurrently, they will run one after the other in a synchronous fashion. That's one. And that's two. And if we look at the CPUs up here, only one CPU is being used at a time. I want to run multiple processes and I want to use all the CPUs. I could try and trick it, Node.js, to start a process inside an I.O. event such as set timeout. Okay. 
Now this is a wrapping a CPU bound task inside an IO event. It's not going to work, but let's just uh, have a look at it any time. Anyway, we just uh, put the uh, slight delay, one millisecond delay there. Okay, let's try that. Well, it's printed the time differences, but it's still running the processes, and they're still bringing one uh, synchronously. There we go. Anyway, that's uh, that's no good. Let me show you how to do this. First of all, though, I'll just uh, get rid of this bit here and get rid of uh, those two things down there. I'll create a new file. I'm going to call it app.js. Uh, app Excellent. And in that file, I'm going to import well, const cp stands for child process equals require child process looks good const process one equals cp dot fork fibonacci fibonacci dot js Two, three. Let's uh, create a fourth. Radio. Now that's what happens when we run that node app.js. Now oh my god, all my CPUs are going crazy. There we go. And they all run in seven seconds. For the same number, that's the Fibonacci of uh, 45. Let's just increase that Fibonacci to something like 48. That will run even longer. We'll try that again. Clear. Okay, so this is multiple CPU bound tasks running concurrently. There we go. There we go, so that took 30 seconds. 48 is a pretty large number. Now let's have a look what doing one at a time takes. Just running one process at a time. Fibonacci 48. Over here on CPU 7 there. Running 4. takes 30 seconds or 28 seconds there we go anyway that's how to run parallel processes at its most basic in node.js i can also communicate between the processes but that's in another video so thanks for watching like comment subscribe and share